Hi everyone, happy Monday. It's Fresh Off the Hook Monday with Kids Lids. I'm Monica and I'm Marina. Hope everyone has had a great week. We're here to show you our creations for the week. So, today I went shopping at Zellers and I bought this little doohickey. Pom Pom Magic. Yes, it is extremely cool. So what you do is you put a little piece of yarn down in here and then you wrap your yarn around and around and around and around. And once you get it all the way from here to here, um, we did it twice and three times just to try it out. Then you take the piece of yarn and you tie it into a knot around your work. I will make a better video, obviously, in doing the pom pom so you can see, but I'm pretty sure that you understand the explanation. Then you take your scissors and there's a groove in here, so you cut the string there. And you cut the string there. And you just pull it up and you get pom-poms! Marina's very first pom-pom. Do -do -do -do. The little pink one. It's a little bit raggedy right now. It needs to be cut down so that they're all even, but so cute. And she also made a white one with the baby yarn. So really cute. And this one, so soft. I made a lot of the baby hats with this. Oh yeah! Went to the Creative Festival, <laughs> piece of fluff flying down, that was funny. Went to the Creative Festival on Saturday and had so much fun. I won tickets from allfreecrochet.com. So, I went, oh my gosh, it is crafter's paradise. Everything you can imagine, from knitting, crocheting, beading, I bought beads for us because I love to bead as well. Um, quilting, most hugest machines you've ever seen in your life and you can press the button and it does everything for you. Embroidery, um, there's lots of guilds there so like groups that you can join for beadwork and quilting, embroidery, crocheters. I actually did find one that is close to my house. It's near Coxwell Station and I believe that the meeting was on Saturday but because I went to the show I didn't go so I'm gonna go next month to that meeting. I'm very excited. Um, so it's just a bunch of crocheters get together and they um, crochet. So uh, they do a lot of donations as well. So, um, yes, this is the scrubby that I had showed you that I did with the 31 stitches that I did not like. So I do advise you to stick with the 21 that they say to in the pattern. This is what it looks like when you finish it. Very easy, great for a beginner because it's all single stitched has a nice texture because you do it in the back loop only and you have to leave some string on each side because what you do is you turn it into itself to make it into a little square and then you sew it down there and you go in through here and pull and you go in through here and pull like a drawstring and then you squash the two together and you just sew in the middle and that piece of material turns into this so awesome I really like it. Uh, easy to do, like I said. It takes, I don't know, an hour while you're watching TV, so it's a little great project. Alright, Marina is wearing a hat that is going to turn into a newsboy with a variegated purple green. I'm wearing a pink and white, which is made from Bernat cotton and they donate to the breast cancer and the Susan G. Coleman uh, which is an association that deals with cancer. Coleman for the cure it's called. So I just think that's great. We do the breast cancer walk every year. We've done it for four years. This will be our fifth I believe. If not it's the third and then this is the fourth. Anyway, um, so I thought that it would be really cool for our team to have just hats made with the breast cancer yarn. So here's another one. Made that one today. And I'm hoping that somebody can help me with this here. I really don't know what I'm doing, but my last stitch is this elongated thing in bob, and it doesn't look very nice, um, so I need to fix that. All right, one of the ladies last week had asked me what the black cotton was, so here it is. It is Lily Sugar and Cream Cotton, <coughs> and just in camel black. You can see that. Camel black. So there's the number, and I'll read you the um, color number. So it's 1020027, in case you want to go on Bernat.com and order it. All right. 
this is the first market bag that I made. I was telling you guys that um, it ended up really small, so it would hold maybe a bag of milk, but not much else. Um, and I wanted to show, well, yeah, I am wearing a scarf that I made with, uh, Danelle did a tutorial the other day showing her double stitch lace. So that is that. I made the scarf with it. This is a poncho that I'm making for Marina for Easter. And I just think it's really cute. I haven't finished it yet. I have to go and get some more yarn. So I have to go up and visit Peter this week. This is an ear flap hat. With a tassel and doohickey. And this is how I put my priced tags on for when I'm going to do shows. So this is my old business card. There you go. My old business card. And somebody was complaining to me that they didn't like the writing. So I went and got <coughs> from Vistaprint.com this week. I ordered some new ones. So this is what they look like. Much better. I even agree that it is much easier to read the letters when they're um, not in fancy script. <coughs> so that's my new cards. How come it froze again? I don't know. Okay, that's my new cards anyway. Hope um, that it's still going. Okay. Okay, sorry. I'm just let me show this. Cute little cotton hat. Mostly concentrating on cotton now if I can because obviously summer's coming and I'm going to be doing a show Canada Day at Stan Waddle Park for um, I'm renting a table and I'm going to have a ton of hats and some scrubbies and obviously some other stuff but mostly it'll be summer attire. This is the other scarf that I made. Made it on my way to the creative festival. Yeah, and back. It took me two and a half hours to get there. Two and a half hours to get back. It's out near the airport, but totally worth it. I met Mikey from the crochet crowd, took a bunch of pictures, gave him a hat. He was wearing it all day, so we have tons of hats. He's tagged me. Actually, I tagged myself in his pictures. Um, so, made a beret. Made a scarf. And, oh yeah, I met the lady who runs Crafting for a Cure. I told you that I was going to make 100 hats. I didn't make 100 hats. I made 40, and then I made a set. So instead of making a ton more hats, I made a set. So um, it was a mommy's hat, a baby hat, a baby blanket, and then a burp pad. So that lady is such a sweetheart oh my god I love her and all of her volunteers they're so nice they were having a little um, they had a, a station where the kids could come in there and do crafts as well um, and because uh, Pam was so excited to meet me and then she said to me that um, Michaels is actually looking for crochet teachers so I'm walking around throughout the whole festival I was there for quite a few hours and when I'm coming back at one point, I bought some tickets for them. I won something, by the way, so I have to go and meet her this week to pick it up. I want a basket. She introduced me to the lady from Michael's, one of the ladies who's pretty high up and, and had come to the festival to see um, what it was all about because they sponsor Crafting for a Cure. So I gave her my new card, which you just saw, and they're going to hire me as a crochet teacher. That's so exciting because I already teach crochet. I'm one of the helpers for the um, seniors. And uh, she thought that was great because um, I believe that part of the thing that Michaels likes is that if you come in as a teacher, that you somehow donate your time as well, for, aside from what you're doing for Michaels. So she was like, well, I'm already doing that, so that's great. And Marina has the rainbow item for the week. It is wrist warmers, but they're cotton. So it'll be great for the summertime. Uh, we go to Pride every year, and I'm going to do us up a whole bunch of stuff to wear at Pride. Actually, what I'd like to do is a rainbow cotton poncho. Oh, yuck. Or, <laughs> or maybe a flag. I don't know. Marina is not feeling well at all today. That's why she kind of just keeps popping in and out of the camera. She took the day off school. She's had medicine. And she's just not feeling well. My poor dolly. So, sorry for the sniffling and everything. But hopefully she'll get better and she can do some more crocheting this week. So... Um, I think that's all I've got to tell you, and uh, I've had a great week. I had some awesome stuff happen today that I will share with you in the very near future once I find out what's going to come from that. So please subscribe.
right there and comment down there and then watch all of the ladies who do fresh off the hook we have them every day of the week kids look is also going to be doing something special we're going to be doing hmm what did i call it serve it up sunday so it's going to be either baking or cooking with us every sunday we'll show you from the beginning how we make everything from scratch uh for those of you that don't know me and my boyfriend also run a catering company so we cater we bake we make cakes we have a blast so we're going to show you and that's about it so have a great week everyone -y. everybody <laughs> everyone -y. anyway we love you and it's so much fun creating and crafting and i love all your comments thank you so much love you all have a great week bye everyone god bless